Hello, beautiful people. Honest Am here, the creator of the Honestly Sis newsletter, a bi-weekly newsletter geared towards millennials who are truly trying to get their shit together. And I am here for another daily motivational video where we use the alchemist, where we use the tarot to become the alchemist of our lives. A little bit about me. I do not just use the tarot. I use God and Custis in the same sentence, and I may mispronounce some things, but if it does not stop Charlemagne and God, it will not stop me. Guys, if you enjoy this video, if you get anything from it, please make sure you put your key takeaways below. If not, a at least give me a thumbs up angel number 30 let's go ahead and get into it god what's that blessing is coming to us within this next week within this next month within yeah what's coming for us within a week to a month of us watching this video god what blessing is coming to us within a week or a month of us watching this video make it as clean and as plain as possible in God's name I pray. Ashe. One card, please. God. Future. You may travel or host a overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. So, angel number 111. So, God is saying in the future, we are either going to travel, to, we are going to travel overseas, or we are going to host an overseas travel a traveler. He said either way is going to be social fun. So, I feel like maybe we've been in a place. You guys have been on the run. You guys have been... This I look at this, I see somebody who is working towards a dream. I look at this, you see the sun going on the horizon, the six of the cups. Let me slow down, angel number 142. So, the six of cups. You see, it's two men here. There's one man sitting out on the horizon. There's another man who looks like he's measuring his steps or keeping track of where he's been by leaving the cup behind Seems like he's peeking over to just see what the guy is doing. Maybe that guy is giving him directions about which way to go, but we see the sun on the horizon. Either way it go, I see positivity with this. Six of Cups means uh, um, the cups is all about wish fulfillment and it's all about a new day coming, which we say with the future of a, you know, with the future of travel or somebody coming into our lives. And so what I feel like this, what God is saying with this message is every time I see this card, I see this as yourself and this as your higher self. So it's like, you never have to worry about where you are on your journey because your higher self is always making sure that you're going to be in the right place at the right time. Angel number uh, 220. Uh, 240. So I feel like what God is trying to say is that in the future, either while you're on a trip or maybe you may be out and meet somebody who's from overseas, either way it go, I feel like you are going to have a meeting with destiny. That's the word that just popped in my head. You're going to be able to meet someone who is really going to play a vital role into your future. So if you have been in this place of, it seems like you've been working very hard, um, Judgment day is coming. So it's like if you've been doing the work to better yourself and um, yeah, to better yourself, you know, die to those limiting beliefs, heal your childhood wounds, do shadow work, whatever you want to call it. Um, I feel like God is saying um, if you've just been working very hard, it's time to take a break. If you've been having an inkling that you should travel, you should go do something. God is saying make sure that you do it because something about that trip is going to be very, very important. Um, actually look at this change, a change of residence, partner or career or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of change. And that's exactly what's going to do. So immediately, thank you, God, angel number, um, 353. What I got is that you, oh my God, that is crazy. I feel like either while you're on a trip or again, being out in public and meeting somebody else, whatever may happen, God is saying, get away from your, you know, your everyday your everyday routine, engine number 411. If you step away from your everyday routine, go do something fun, you're going to bump into maybe the love of your life. You may bump into the person who's going to invest in your business. You may be on the beach reading something and then somebody asks you, hey, what you reading? You're like, oh, I'm working on my book. And they're like, you like books? I'm an agent. Like, I'm telling you, like, I really get that energy. I feel like what God is saying, if you take that time to take a break, and I feel like we got this message of play and have fun a lot. This is like this message coming out twice. So I feel like it's definitely going to happen. You go on that trip, you book that vacation, you have that staycation. 
that change that you want. Maybe it's that idea. Maybe it's literally bumping into a person that is going to change your dreams and change the course of your life forever. I promise you, you may meet the love of your life. You may meet your future husband. Like all of that is at play. So God, what happens to my beautiful uh, people? What happens to them if they do go on this trip? What if they, if they do go on this trip? What is this change that is coming in their life? What happens if they go on this trip or take a break from their everyday life? What change is coming into their life? Make it as plain as possible. Strength. Two of, two of staffs. Look at this. Two of staffs going on a new journey. Going on a new... You're going to... This person is going to completely shift your life. What is that? Chariot. Movement. High Priestess. Saying get out your head about this. Don't overthink it. Movement is coming. This person is going to shift your life with the judgment. He's going to help tame you. He's going to soften you. All of that. The, you are going to find your protector. You've been having a stream or, you know, you've just kind of been in the uh, funk of your job. This, this opportunity is going to come. It's going to completely shift the way that you view yourself and you view life. You're going on to new horizons, new, new passion, new drive. What God is saying, the advice here is to, as you are on your trip, don't be so guarded. Like be your, you know, be your, be the beast, but also be sensual. You know, let yourself have fun. Let your hair down. Now, what are you trying to get us to understand about this future travel trip that we may take? What is this change that may be coming up? God, what is this card about strength here? What do we need to understand about taming the beast on the inside? This woman is with a tiger and she's looking at him like, look at him going crazy, doing all this stuff. What happens? Like, how is this person going to shift our life? What happens if we change up our day-to-day -day routine? Make it as plain as possible, God. What happens to my beautiful group if they go on this trip? What meets them? What changes in their life? What strength comes in? Make it as plain as possible. The Black Angel, we've read that before. But the sojourner, this is the one we're going to focus on. I am going to explain what the black angel means. The black, if you have selected the black angel, the external perception you have of yourself or how you think others see you may get you into trouble. You have to learn to search deeply within yourself to find out why you have taken on certain roles in life. Authenticity to self and honesty with others is key. It is very difficult to acknowledge that you may not be honest with yourself or with others you love and care for. So what God is saying is have the courage to walk in your truth. If you've been going and you don't feel like you have it anymore, your body is telling you it needs a break. Take that break. But when you're on your vacation, angel number 820, take a break from being so guarded. Take a break from, you know, you have to, what I, what I feel like what God is saying is you have to change your attitude towards your life, towards, towards the universe, towards God. I feel like for some of you guys, God has let you down, angel number 840, so many times that you don't trust him anymore. You don't trust the universe to bring in this change of resonance. That's why you're working so hard because you're trying to make it come about. And God's saying, you don't have to work this hard. I know where you want to go. And I'm going to lead you to where you need to be. But you have to trust me. You have to trust me enough to put your future in my hands. Angel number 901. With the Sojourner, this is the card that we're going to focus on. The Sojourner. You open the hearts and mind of others. A Sojourner on the waking path represents courage and the capacity to speak out. You guard against harm. As a sojourner, you are willing to say what must be said. Your voice must be heard. You are rarely silent. You are mostly in situations where you can share your beliefs. People may see you as a social activist or a crusader, even though you are not in, in search of such recognition. You strongly believe that nothing great or worthy is gained without struggle. If it were not for the warnings of sojourners, many harmful things will still be in the world. 
your walking path, your waking path is to be zealous or eager to keep in touch with the world around you. Your awareness or knowledge is cultivated by your efforts to participate fully in the righting the wrongs in life. In struggle, you show the most courage when confronting limitations and illusions. You have a moral dilemma when you do not apply your beliefs to your own life. You have to be careful not to show up as a martyr. On the sleeping path, your belief system may lead you into conflict at times. People often feel you are imposing your beliefs and values. You become a know-it-all to them. They feel you expect more out of them that they are, than you are willing to give. Excuse me. They feel you expect more out of them that they want you. They feel you expect more out of them than what they want to give. You can keep stuck in your own truth and reality, even though your spirit path is to awaken the hearts and minds of those seeking your guidance. Your ideas can push you out on the fringe and into struggle on the sleeping path. You can be under heavy confrontation and controversy. You may be constantly in a line of fire. You may find yourself in continuous pattern of rejection or weighing down your spirit, possibly causing physical and or mental illness. Resistance becomes a theme in your life as your values and beliefs are challenged. For your own well-being, come off the fringes of life and find a comfortable place in the world. Which external battles can let go? Which external battles can you let go so you can attend to some of your personal conflicts? Let go of needing to constantly explain who you are and what you believe in. Who you are is valid, what you believe is valid as anyone else belief. Have reverence for the difference, which will give you an opening to allow their which will give you an opening to allow others their reality. You are better heard and understood when you share your values without expecting change or without imposing your thinking. Sojourners are the keepers of the dream of being fully liberated. We need you alive and well, angel number 112. And so I feel like God is saying you probably felt like you've been in a place because you're a changer. You've probably been in this place of isolation. You've probably been in this place where you feel like people just do not understand you. People don't get you. It's been a lot of um, like confrontation. And what God is saying is because you need to declutter your life. You need to ask yourself, why are you taking on certain roles in life? Why do you feel like you have to be the one to tell everybody how they need to live life? Sometimes people don't need to hear that from you. Sometimes people just have to work on yourself on their own. And God is telling you, have that power to walk away move away from that having to always tell your truth and just accept that you know what you believe on the inside focus on yourself I feel like you've been alone and isolated and God is saying it's just time to get out there put yourself back out there in the world when you put yourself out there in the world God is going to allow you to connect with the people who are truly meant for you and then your life will really be able to change and go off into the direction that you desire so will you all right, y'all, that's all the messages I have for you. Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up or at least leave your key takeaway down below. Until we meet again, dream those dreams. Never let the internet rush you and never, ever let someone tell you what you cannot do. Namaste. Angel number 1322. Take care.